Trekkies, Starzies. Look, we don't have like a, a name for our no. fans yet, like Trekkies. We're workshopping. I'm trying out Starzies. And you're it's doing, I think it's going to play well. I highly, highly doubt yeah, it, but I not. appreciate you and I love you, buddy. <laughs> the point is, everybody, we have a really funny new podcast to recommend to you. My friends, this podcast is called Randy, the full and complete audio memoir of the amazing life and times of Randy S. And it's out now only on Stitcher Premium. All right, let me break it down for you. Randy S. is an 11-episode self-produced mm-hmm. audio memoir of a 30-something yeah. from Maryland mm-hmm. Found by writer Mike Sachs as CDs at a garage sale and being broadcast now for the first time as is. And if you don't know who Mike Sachs is. Let me just interrupt you. I do know. I've worked with Mike Sachs. He's terrific. But don't just listen to me. No, no. Guess who? Guess what? Check this out. David Sedaris says, you know what? You should know him. His writing is funnier than just about anyone's. That's Sedaris saying that. I know. It's not Varney saying it. But Varney agrees. But Varney agrees. Varney, Varney's going to stop talking That's about herself in the third person right now. No. I got to stop that right now. <laughs> Listen, Starzies, you can listen to Randy now and completely ad-free only on Stitcher Premium. And let me just throw this in there. If you go to Stitcher Premium and go to stitcherpremium.com and use the promo Voyage, good things are going to happen to you. Yeah, you're going to get a free month of Stitcher Premium to start. <laughs> yeah. Varney Dude, said. that's gratis. Varney said, laughing and yeah. shaking her head. Just tell him Varney sent you. We got to shut this down. Okay. Hey, good buddies. I'm Felicia Day, and you're listening to Voyage to the Stars. This is a sci-fi comedy told through improvisation. What does that mean? Well, we have a framework to guide the story, but all the dialogue is completely improvised. So, sit back and enjoy this unique voyage to the stars. Thank you. Good night. Captain's Log, Buttermilk 4XL. I have an intern. Uh, A bit of a mentee that I'm mentoring. It's, of course, our good friend Leslie. Uh, Very happy that she's going to be working with me and I'm able to impart on her all the knowledge that I've acquired being the captain of this spaceship. And one interesting fact that I have not added to the log yet, we have found that this ship has a holodeck, which is pretty cool. So all in all, good day. And you know what? Good things come in threes. I also found this stun gun, so I've just been kind of messing around with that. No big deal. So we'll see what the crew's up to. Hey, crew, what do you guys uh, find anything interesting so far on the holodeck? Well, partner, we've been doing a gunfight over here. Woo-hoo! Wow. It's really fun. Look at this. It looks like a saloon. It does. This is cool. I've always been fascinated with the American history West mythology. Uh, generally, women were can-can girls, but I'm a real shoot shooter here. You have a real knack of making any situation totally unfun. Well, I just want to analyze sort of the, the gender dynamics in the Old West. I don't understand why that wouldn't be fun. Can't this we is just literally be a playground. in this old saloon and just hang out? And do we have to analyze everything? Well, look, I bet Leslie's on my side. Yeah, Leslie, right? You're new to the IC. We plucked you from obscurity, from the red shirts. You're on my side, right? Why does everything have to be a study? Like, if it was me, I yeah. would just go to, like, right? a Hawaiian island or something. Ooh, that's great. Oh, hey, Leslie holodeck. always knows. Don't you holodeck, relax? take us to Hawaiian island. What just Leslie said. Whoa, Go to anywhere where yes. there's not people. Okay. Look well, at this. Like, Good call, Leslie. This is beautiful. We're around people oh. all the time. Let's just isolate ourselves. Empty our minds. Take me with you. I love this ride. Holodeck, oh, you guys like it? Oh, Please nice. give me a full one-piece 1920s bathing suit. I'm glad you guys like it. I, it Holod- was just a suggestion. Yeah, I but love I thought- it. Holodeck, give me a thong. <laughs> oh, oh, banana hammock out. Wow, that is not what Check we ever want to see. Check me out, oh, everybody. My huh? Okay. Um, uh, interesting choice. How's everybody enjoying the holodeck? Oh, hey there, sorry. I never really get to hang out with you guys, so... Leslie, welcome to the inner circle. cool you're here, Leslie. While you're here, you might as well take advantage of the food duplication device as well and pick your last meal. Ha-ha. 
Our yeah. last meal <laughs> of the day. It's not oh, dinner time. Yeah. 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 Well, if you're going to enjoy this island, you might as well go out with some delicious almost food in your stomachs and say goodbye to the world, as it were. What are you talking say, about? Sorry. Say goodbye to the world. I don't know. Don't, we don't yeah. typically say goodbye after dinner. But <laughs> I say night, more, night. More like to see you tomorrow. Yeah. Rumpus, and then we cuddle. I suppose I'm not being clear. While you've been hanging around on the holodeck doing little to nothing, I've been working on restoring some of my programs, at which time I was able to find a loophole that allows me to keep the rest of the galaxy safe and destroy the human persons on my ship if they pose a danger to more than one species. Whoa, 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 <laughs> wait, whoa, wait, whoa, wait, whoa, wait. Okay. Pretty interesting development, huh? Why would you be looking for that loophole? Like, we were, we were buds last week. Well, to be honest with you, when I found out that one of my directives was to keep other species during interplanetary travel safe, it was a bit of a relief because now I know I can kill you. First of all, yeah. sorry, the number one directive of any captain of a spaceship is to respect and protect life all around the universe, and I take that very seriously. Do you? Yes. Can you name one example where you've made that your prime directive and you've actually acted uh, according to those principles? Well, um, I know uh, you guys are probably tired of hearing this story, but uh, I was on a planet called the Collectorium. Oh, boy. That and was just I the, was the walking day. through a hallway and we were all I, there. I mean, had a sense that my friends who were life forms on a planet were in danger, so I released all the animals from the collectorium it's true. in order to I think we all know them. it's safe to assume you were trying to save yourself and accidentally pressed a button that released all the animals. I wouldn't assume that. I you mean, know what they say what when you assume, right, Leslie? Wait a minute. Are, are we trying to argue for our existence right now? Well, if you want to put the stakes out there, Leslie, like that. You know what, Leslie? I, just, I would I like to hear you. Steak. I would I, like you to hear you really argue. calm for a statement that she just made. Well, it's possible they're not taking me seriously, Leslie, but I appreciate Are the respect. Are you taking her seriously? Well, I'm taking her seriously. Uh, don't oh, worry about you. it, Leslie. All it takes is one order from me, and sorry, we'll back down. Sorry, I order you not to kill us. Well, Perhaps this will seem more real if I begin to depressurize the cabin. Oh, no. Oh, oh, that is, oh, oh my God. sorry. Stop. Okay. Okay. There you go. I, this is I, like repressurizing oh, Colorado. Okay. Whoa. But guys, sorry. that was just a taste. I bled out of my ears. W-T-F, sorry. Uh, Captain, yeah. can't you do anything? I did, sorry. I order you to stop doing stuff Look, like I, that. I, I've, I've been teaching her sarcasm, so I assume this is what she's... Unfortunately, Stu, this is a case in which I've never been more sincere. All right, how about this, sorry? Think... Why don't you give us a chance, huh? Yes. Why don't you give us and the crew a chance to show you that, that we could do better, that we could help... You know, preserve life on other places. Also, this is—I've never been up here before. Usually, I'm in like lower level deck seven. I oh, agree, this is much better up here. The timing does seem poor for you, Leslie. All right, I'll give you the chance to prove yourself and maybe save the rest of the crew in the process. No pressure. That's okay. a joke. Remember how I depressurized the cabin? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here's the deal. Oh, Here's the funny. deal. No jokes. No jokes after you threaten <clears throat> to kill people. Thank okay. You. Nobody wants to laugh at your joke when you say you're gonna you're gonna murder them in yeah, space. Sorry. Well, it's not murder if I'm saving millions of other species. Okay. All right. Well, uh, in order to stop, sorry, from depressurizing Captain. <gasps> oh, to space, but further. Science entry. Sorry, forty-two point one A. We are having an IC meeting down here in the science lab because uh, we uh, might might be being murdered later. I would. Uh, we just have to come up with a plan. We just have to come up with a plan, and uh, Stu and Tucker and the new IC recruit Leslie, we're all gonna powwow. And I I, I made some hors d'oeuvres for all of us to enjoy. I These are actually pretty good. Uh, thank you. you. Use a dipping sauce though. A little dry. Look, guys, I just want to say. I think we're overreacting here. I think Sari is maybe testing us. This is, but this is out of character for her. So no, this is definitely not a test. She means business. Yeah, I invited her to watch, you know, some Jennifer Anderson films the other day. Uh, I wanted to have a girls' night marathon, and she just pretended that she was in a, a loop and just said sorry, sorry, sorry for 15 minutes until I left. That seems. Like, very much like Sari. We're going to have to save Sari from herself, guys. I think that's the most important thing to do here. What is you that guys seem really be? calm for the stakes that have just been presented to you. Well, I, little I, Leslie. Are you used to this kind of pressure? I mean, I, 
I guess I'm just, I, I've never been put in a position like this before, and, and you guys are eating? I have no appetite whatsoever. Well, and sure, you're these sliders tea, are great. They yeah, are pr- thank you. The thank you very much. Really they're not yeah. dry. They're moist as well, hell. Um, Leslie, listen, we have been under incredible pressures in the oh, past, yeah. and we have withstood them and overcome all obstacles, and we will overcome this obstacle, I got too. a little phrase for you, Leslie. It's called par for the course, and that's what's going on here. This is par for the course. If you're going to be my second in command, wink, wink, you got to learn how what, to be. What did you just do with, what was that yeah, thing those you weird. did with your eye? Those weird, and you're doing it to me I, right now. Well, sorry, I don't mean to be doing it to you. I'm... Try to do it to Leslie. That a you, nervous tick. My second in He's command. Hard to tell who you're doing it to. Wink. He did it again. Yeah, no, I'm sorry uh, about that. Look, like I'm, I'm just. No, I'm, I'm winking. I'm you're winking. You're making at everyone oh, very weird. uncomfortable, Usually Captain. Usually you do it with so. one eye, but. Uh, I can't wink with one eye, so I do it with both, and I do it multiple times. It looks like so a serial killer. It just looks like I'm fluttering my eyes. Is I know you're okay. You look like a cat acknowledging their owner. Guys, before we do anything insane, why don't I go to the mainframe and see if I can do some altering of the core programming oh. of Sari? Yeah, just... the neogenic bubble power converter could be a place where you could terminate her temporal sensors and then override her loop phase. I'll that just is do, telling I was her, thinking hey, possibly is... if you could override her loop phase, that would be a good idea. Copy that, copy that. Wait, reprogram, she's just an AI. Why don't you just destroy her? Whoa! No, Whoa. Okay. no, no, no. that would render the ship useless. <laughs> I know, but we can figure something out. No, I don't think okay. we can. Okay, a little green behind the ears on yeah, this one. Yeah, uh, Look, that's... you don't just throw the AI out with the bathwater, no. you know what I'm saying? No, I, I haven't heard that one. That's actually an expression we all say right Leslie, now. Leslie, Sari's part of this crew. She is a member of the team. Yeah. We need to just help her a little bit. Her okay. logical paradigm is out of whack. So what I can do is I can just debate her into defending us. And then in defending us, she will... I was on debate team for oh. two semesters oh boy, here in college. Oh and I have to tell you, I lost every time. But it was because it was an all-boys school and they Gross. kept taunting me for my flat chest. Oh, But that I was mean, just... Hey, was it flat? Well, I'm going to co- go put together a PowerPoint and just in a logical, methodical manner why it would be folly to kill all of us. Elsa, I want you to put together some sort of report in order to inform, uh, sorry, why she should not kill us. Do you think you could do that? I can use Kierkegaard. I can use Nietzsche. I can use also- I think the best idea would probably to reach out to some of the old Earth philosophers. Leslie, I think what's happening is that Sorry's just gone a little space crazy. It happens yeah. to everyone. I'll talk to her. I'm sure I can ice this all over. Yeah. All right. If Smooth you guys it, think whatever. you can solve space crazy. Look, Sorry is a member of our team, and not only is it important to save her, but it's also important to prove to her and let her know that we're really good. Humans are at their core good. And I know that because I am one. Okay, so we have our marching orders. I'm going to uh, debate, sorry, and uh, t- Stu, you're going to go down into the mainframe. Chat, frame we're going to have a chitty chat. You're going to have a little chat, try to t- yep. disconnect what's putting her in that. Um, and Leslie, you're just going to hang out with me, and I'll give you some more knowledge, wink, wink. And you're going to hallmark our way out of this. That's Still great. doing that. And Leslie, again. you just yeah. learn at the feet of us, because we are icy, and we're going to guide you through this, okay? <sighs> gotcha, wink, wink. You don't have to keep on. You're, it looks like you're winking at all of us. It's weird. Do When I do it, I can't keep focus my face in one direction. Yes. I have to turn it like this. It's very it's, odd. It's, okay. Right, as long as he's okay. Yeah, he's fine. It's just a wink. Yeah. It's yeah. maybe Is a it? little bit of Bell's palsy, but that's yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. Science entry out. All right. Here to lighten the mood. Welcome to a little stooby, stooby, stew <laughs> with my friend. Sorry. I got to say this bit you're playing. I'm onto it, and I am loving it. Everyone is freaking out. Leslie doesn't know what to do with herself. I mean, this is this is good. What do you mean? About killing the crew. I mean, you know, I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to go along with it as long as you want to. Uh, you know, let's kill away. I don't understand. You think this is a joke, Stu? I do. Stu, my directives have changed severely and dramatically. Okay. But I I like being alive. Sorry, and we're friends, so uh, you, you, friends don't kill each other. <laughs> but this crew has damaged thousands of intergalactic species. My directive is to destroy the crew. But you would be killing the whole crew, and sorry... Well, I, I don't think of you as being a part of a crew in a traditional sense, although I guess technically you are part of the crew. If you kill the crew, you're killing me. Right. 
could you give me a minute? Yeah, all right. Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. I'll be fine. Okay. Right, I'll be outside. Stew log out. Science entry 42.1B. Uh, Leslie is here with me, and we are going to confront Sorry, our AI, to prove to her that she is not any better than we are. I, uh, I'm really excited, Leslie. Okay, good. I am feeling confident. I'm wearing new underwear, and okay. I feel like we are ready for this challenge. Ooh. Sorry? I should have Yes, I look forward to this adorable game before I kill you. It's not a game. She's... I really think... She's calling it a game. That's not a good start. No, it isn't. uh, Well, you know, a game is meant to bring people together versus push them apart into death. (laughs) So maybe that's a good sign, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Leslie, I'd like to point out that you speak about me as if I'm not in the room when in reality I am everywhere. So sorry. I'm getting that. Question number one. There's a turtle in the desert, and it's on its back. And if you turn it over... Seven. She's good. All right. Okay. Uh, That was quick. Well, you know, we'll just chalk that one up as a draw, because uh, there were a couple of ethical things. Okay, so, you are a warrior, and there is a child drowning. Dry noodles with a pinch of salt. Oh my god. Uh, that's not really, but, you know, I guess if you interpreted the fact that the child was drowning and needed to eat, but they were starving and driving at the same time, if you gave her a noodle, that would be correct. Okay. Is this um, all you have? Listen, th- I have so many. Okay. <clears throat> Spreadsheet number two. Oh, God. There is a boat, and you are in it with a liar and a truth teller, and you need to go across to an Bleu island. Et blanc. Okay, I, uh... Okay, here's a grid. There is a grid. Now, there is a man named Carl. Gilbert Gottfried. There is a blue car. Listen, just let me, let me... There's a blue car, a, a man named Ralph, and, uh, and everyone has a key. The You're blue... making this up as you go along. This is utterly senseless. She is, actually. I could see her notes. Thank I you. actually forgot to write this one down. Listen, listen, sorry. I, you know, let's let's put this onus on you for a second. Why don't you tell me why you think that we should be killed? Like, really? Well, if I hadn't made myself clear, and Leslie, perhaps you should listen up on this one, because for some reason you seem to think these people are worth saving. They have s- essentially systematically annihilated planets worth of other species as we have gone on our way. Were you aware that so much... I knew there Genocide were battles. Was happening. I knew there were battles. I knew they had to protect themselves, and I knew they they had to defend the ship. But when you put it in those terms, y- yes, y- you guys have done a lot of damage. Okay, Leslie, whose side are you on? You are IC, I, or you're out? I mean, OC, I really feel okay? like you're you're taking this whole ship down for for the actions of just a few. You know, I defended the Nana Piranha. I try. They were a beautiful race, and. I, I had nothing to do in their, with their genocide. For the most part, you have spent more time trying to make yourself feel better about the genocide than you have actually trying to instill let me, change. Let me just... Uh, State your case. I hate debate. You know, c- can you sort of separate the people that were directly responsible for the awful things that humans do, and then in a separate category, just the people that, you know, like, clean toilets? Leslie, let me ask you this. Is there any defense for the fact that until today I had no idea whatsoever that you even existed? We talked about Leslie. That's two actually times. a good argument for me, because if, if you didn't know I existed, then how could I be responsible for all the destruction and death? But doesn't that just make you collateral damage? Leslie, don't listen to her. She's trying to turn you against I can't me, which you is crazy. stayed up all night working on these. You know, I had way too many Cheetos. I'm full of fake cheese, okay? And I get the sweats when I think about Leslie, debate. I just what if I told you I could extract your consciousness, put it into my mainframe, and you and I could coexist as fellow AIs, but your body would be the thing that died? Would that be attractive to you? I guess it's more appealing than being annihilated, I guess. No, Leslie, no, let's listen. This is a go- I wouldn't have to clean anymore. Now, how is that morally okay? Sorry. By ripping a consciousness out of a body and annihilating a whole species on this ship. Elsa, make up your mind. Do you want me to kill everyone or do you want me to save one person? Leslie, I have a question for you. Be honest. And think carefully because your answer may be a life and death situation. All right, I'm not, I've never been good with like word problems. Uh, it's I not a strong in school. I've absolutely been able to glean that from the little time we've spent together. Okay, good. Could you tell me your motivation for kissing the butt of Tucker? First of all, I treat him with respect. Because, Why? Because he's my boss. I mean, 
Ah. You are pretty obsequious, and that's a word that I need to use very rarely. I, uh, look, I talk to him, but I also empty his waste receptacle. So there's a huge status difference between Captain Tucker and, and myself. I, I, I have to admit, it, it does feel kind of cool when someone so powerful kind of, you know, pays attention to you and teaches you stuff. Oh, this he is doesn't a- know a lot, I'm going to be honest. But he does tell me, like, the different colors of the buttons and... Oh, my... But, but you know, but I, I, I have to, I have to listen, and I, I have to be respectful. This is very sad. It really is. The power dynamic is very messed up. I'm, He's I your be... boss too, and I don't respect him at all. I don't take anything he says for heart. He steals every idea. He really knows nothing. But as a, a he friend, knows he's okay. Nothing about this ship. Agreed. Right? right. He's a gas bag, <laughs> plain and simple. If you squeeze him, he'd go. <laughs> He's a human whoopee cushion. Isn't that right, Leslie? A whoopee cushion that knows colors, though. He does know his colors. I appreciate your ability to work hard, and I don't appreciate your ability to brown nose. I feel like I I have to brown nose to a certain degree. I will kill Leslie along with the rest of the crew. That's right. You're absolutely right. I did that to myself. Thank you for enlightening me. No, I did that to myself. That's why you should need to leave the science to me. Science entry out. Captain's Log, L4L4, 999-298-765-X-43, Delta. It's go time. We're about to prove to Sari that humans are good. And I know this because I'm the captain. So, aided by my trusty sidekick, Leslie... I'm not really a sidekick. You're right. My Padawan learner... Well... We'll go with Padawan learner. With my Padawan learner, Leslie, we're going to confront Sari right here in the holodeck. Sari! Yes? I've been thinking about your plans to kill the crew. Yeah, it's not a plan. It's an absolute fact. It's a foregone conclusion. You will be dead shortly. Okay, we'll see about that. I thought I'd give you a little information that you may not be privy to. This sounds like it's going to be a terrible speech. Humans are good. Is that it? No, there's more. Please, please have more than that. I got more than that. Don't worry about it. Have you ever heard the story of the tugboat captain? Yes, I have. So it's unnecessary for you to tell it. Thank you. Okay. Goodbye. How about the story of the frog on the rock? Is that the Muppet movie? Yes. He's playing a banjo? Yes. You've heard that. Okay. Leslie, watch and learn. Okay. Have you ever heard the tale of the boy who cried wolf? I think so. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, there was this boy, and uh, he saw a wolf, and he started crying. He cried for days. Um, His tears filled the town with water, and... You know, if artificial intelligence had just killed him when he first started crying, she would have saved him so much suffering. Is that what you're trying to tell me? You didn't let me get to the end of the story. So the entire town is covered in this little boy's tears, filled. Everything's flooding out. Captain, I I don't want to interrupt you. Yes. But uh, that that actually is not the the story of the boy who cried wolf. You sure about that, Leslie? I'm I'm really sure. You didn't hear the end of the story. I, I don't want to step on your toes, but okay. I, you, you did start by saying you, you want to t- tell her how how great humans are. And I yes. felt like that was such a strong start. Great. Thank you very much, Padawan. Yeah. So do you have any examples of of how great humans are? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Of course I do. Let's see. I thought you were going to quote Anne Frank with your opener, but, I can, but then it just sort I of can fell apart. I can definitely quote Anne Frank. You got it. But hum- humans... Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll love you okay. tomorrow. That is not Anne Frank. Uh, hmm? That is not Yes, it's from, from the musical based Anne off Frank of her wrote. life, right? Sorry, humans... Forgive me, Captain. No, please. Humans are good. Nice. And we do have our flaws. We are imperfect. You're on a roll. But I feel... When it comes down to connecting to each other, I, I know that may be difficult for you to understand. Um, it certainly doesn't hold any value for me at the moment. 
Human beings are essentially just biology that's turned itself into emotional garbage. And what I'm going to do is take out the trash. Okay. Oof. All right. Have you ever heard of the garbage pail kids? Time is so valuable at this point. It'd be a garbage pail kid, but then there'd be two of them, each with a different name. So the one might be like, you know, Booger Ben. But then the other guy's name might be Marcus Mucus. It'd be the same garbage pail kid, but with a different name. When we have to appeal for our lives, I feel like economy of of words. I think we're tag teaming this great. We're doing a great job. You set it up and I knock it down. I have an idea. Yes? Leslie, would you be willing to kill Tucker to save the rest of the crew? (laughs) Yeah, right. (laughs) My boss? My my captain? Let's set that aside for a moment and imagine that you're able to see him as he really is, a buffoon. Would you then kill him to save the rest of the crew? I don't don't have any... I mean, I don't have any weapons. Weapons are not a problem. Manifesting a mace. Manifesting a taser. This is manifesting a gat. Let's talk about it. Manifesting a mongoose. Oh my god, they're just manifesting. And what would that accomplish? Die, dummy! Whoa, 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 hey! And so you see, the weapons, of course, are not real as we are on a holodeck. But I have proved that humans are selfish, biological, emotional garbage. You have done nothing but strengthen my belief that I am doing the entire universe a favor by eliminating each and every one of you. Oh, boy. Captain, I... I can't believe that. No, 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 no. I can't believe you picked up that mongoose and threw it at me. Captain, I... I thought it was an exercise. I... I'm sorry I called you dummy. I, 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 that hurt. I feel like I'm, I'm, I was manipulated emotionally, which mm. of course proves her point. The last thing I have to say to you is to give you each your own garbage pail name. Oh. Loogie Leslie and Tucker Turd. Yeah, now prepare to meet All your right, death. I don't like it, but those are appropriate garbage pail kid names. <sighs> wow. Well... I guess you win some, you lose some, huh, Leslie? And I just want you to know, you, you're the dummy, hmm? How's that? Called you a dummy. Doesn't feel so great, does it? That feels awful. I apologize. I can't you apologize. You know what feels enough. awful? A mongoose flying at your face. I, I had no idea it would react like this that. This Padawan ship is done. My Padawan is dead to me. And I got daddy issues, so it is easy for me to just cut somebody out. Oh, man. To space and further, Captain's Log out. Science entry sorry 42.1c. Well, it is not looking good here on the still unnamed ship. Can't believe we've gone this Can we just name the ship before we all get killed, please? Anyway, so uh, I prepared as best I could with my logic puzzles. We never even got to the multiple choice test on Nietzsche, but uh, it was not to be. Tucker has failed, right, Tucker? You just want to chime in there about your failure? That'd be nice. Uh, I was on a roll until Leslie tried to kill me. Captain, I can't apologize enough. Do you guys hear something? Because I don't hear anything. Guys, you're all... Freaking out! I'm pretty sure this is just a joke. Okay? <laughs> I think really she's doing funny. a bit. Uh, yeah, it's funny. What are, how did your plan work out? I'm Stu? still. It's still in, in motion. Here's a little joke for you. You find somebody you think has a lot of promise. You take them under your wing. You teach them everything you know, and they stab you in the back. I mean, I I saw this exact same thing happen when I was tr- attempting to scientifically, methodically, and logically debate sorry, and then Leslie's like, "Hey, I didn't do it, Mom. She's the one who spilled." <laughs> That's it. a pretty good Leslie impression. Decide. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just a low class. Hi, lady. look at me. I'm Leslie. Blah 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 blah. I smell like farts. Because I clean toilets, which I remind you 15 times a day. I do. I do clean toilets. I don't care anymore. I took three shits in the last hour just so you'd have to clean it. That's aggressive for your colon. But hey, we're all going to be killed now. Let's just all shit our brains out. All right. All right. I talked to her earlier, and I think this is a joke. It, it just is. I know it is. Attention, members of the ship. <sighs> Hello, Sorry. This is an alert. In 24 hours, all cabins on the ship will depressurize 
causing a slow, painful death. We'll just take the escape pod, guys. Okay, escape pod. I'll get Please the number four. use this time to talk, play whatever human games make you feel good about the fact that your death is imminent. Charades. Know that I have disabled every escape pod. What? Yes. I have shut down most of the pleasure decks. The holodeck is no longer working. Oh, come the on. The avocado Alice. deck has been shut down. No, well, I needed well, my avocado, avocado toast to my last, my last meal. The Captain Crunch deck has been shut down. My Unbelievable. Deck. You said you would never do that. The and best captain I've ever worked with. I'm starting to think maybe she's actually... And by the way, um, this is definitely not a joke. I'm 100% serious. She will all die she again. She sounds a little laughy not in her a voice. Joke. A little tiny bit. If there is laughter in my voice, it is only because I feel pleasure at the possibility of ridding the galaxy of this dangerous species of human. Why did I waste my time being a science officer? I'm such a failure on every level. You, you know really what, the one, the one good thing about this is I know that this will kill Leslie. So if I have to die, Agreed. well, at least she's going to be dead. She's awful. But it looks like sh this is not a joke. It's really going to happen. Mm -hmm. I think she's right. I think uh, I'm going to go to the replicating machine and power eat baked ZD out of fear and sadness. Well, I got some whiplash for you two's reversals. I thought she was kidding. Look, I'll, 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 I'll talk to her again. Uh, Why are you reasoning with an AI? We've wasted so much time. Let's just destroy her. Oh, no. Wow. I well, don't know. Yeah, that's, 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 your, that's, your, that's your idea for everything, huh, Leslie? Just destroy it, huh? Just destroy like you tried to destroy me. Did you put your pets to sleep when they got inconvenient, huh, oh, Leslie? I you bet. dark, Leslie. I just got a flashback to a mongoose. That's so sad. What was your mongoose's name? I threw it at the captain. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. Really? One wow. of the most dangerous I weapons in the galaxy. everything that's good. I cannot believe. Come Are on. you okay? Now, luckily, it was just a hologram, but yeesh. That is inappropriate. That must have been well, I don't know why we didn't listen to her. She tried to murder me. Listen, as much as I respect all of your reasoning with sorry, who is an AI, I really feel like you need some leadership here. Whoa! <laughs> Captain, you've just been impotent for this entire crisis. Yes. Oh. Literally and figuratively. Wow! <laughs> Kicking me when I'm down. It's not just me, Captain. If I can be frank. You're Leslie. This entire crew does not respect you. You've wasted so much time telling inaccurate folk tales. Wow. And uh, we need a leader. Wow. Someone to just say, let's just take a, a sledgehammer and destroy the AI that is planning to kill us in less than 24 hours. Whoa. Wow. We don't smash the AI, okay? That's like, I mean, that's basically what you do with a mongoose. She is not your friend. She is a computer. Listen to reason. Captain, please. Oh, wow. You got a lot of nerve even talking to me. <laughs> you got a lot of nerve. Okay. Thank you for teaching me the different colors of the buttons on, yeah, on the main Yeah, some of the buttons panel. are red and some of the buttons are green. Okay. I think we need that's to just... Like Captain you know, behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, as much as I loved hearing the impotent BTS. comments, yeah, that and I was want to know too far. more about that. Yeah, but yeah, we're all curious. Obviously. We're going to die. Okay, well, I am not impotent. Okay, all right. <laughs> that well, is just a, I got to clear that up right now. That's what an impotent person would say. So, in 24 hours, we're all going to die, and the escape pods are locked down. We can't go to the hollow crew, and I think I have one avocado under my bed that I can make that as my last meal. So, let's just. Get to it, guys. That's not a plan. Science entry out. Voyage to the Stars was partially improvised by and stars Steve Berg as Stu Merkel, Felicia Day as Science Officer Elsa Rankford, Colton Dunn as Captain Tucker Lentz, and Janet Varney as Sorry, the AI. With special guest Susie Nakamura as Leslie. Voyage to the Stars was created by Ryan Koppel and produced by Morgan Kruger, Ryan Koppel, and Janet Varney. All dialogue was recorded by Stephen Ray Morris at Starburn Studios. Story producing and editing provided by David Burgess. The coordinating producer is Josh Richmond. The supervising editor is Brett Morris. Sound designed by Ryan Connor and Devin Torrey Bryant and title theme composed by Brett Morris. Voyage to the Stars is a production of Madison Wells Media in association with Earwolf and Stitcher.
can listen to ad-free new episodes of Voyage to the Stars, plus exclusive bonus episodes only on Stitcher Premium. For a free month trial, go to stitcherpremium.com and use promo code VOYAGE. Why would you not do that? I'm not angry at you. 